y'all, it's Andy, and in today's video we're going to be doing a recreation of an old design of mine from last year. Let's go! So first let's add some peel off base coat so I can take these off really quickly. And there we go, now let's paint the white nails white. We got three of those, and let's paint the back, put the, paint the, <laughs> what? Paint the black nails black, we have two of those. And I'm using this chess piece stamping template, and we're going to be using the Born Pretty White Stamping Polish, I really like these. And we're going to quickly put the nail polish on there, scrape it, and then pick it up. You have to work very quickly with stamping before it dries. Then we're going to apply it to the black nails. So I did the same thing, but with black stamping polish for one of the white nails, because the other two I'm going to be hand painting the checkerboard pieces. I do love how that one came out. It's very pigmented. So now I'm going to be hand painting the checkerboard. Um, this was actually, pff, there's hair in my mouth. This is actually kind of time consuming because I just wanted to make sure that the lines were as crisp and perfect as I could get them. But I do think it was worth it. Then after painting all of the lines, I'm going to fill in every other square using the black gel polish. Then after painting all those in, I decided to do a black border around the nail. I didn't do that on the last one, but I really liked how it looked, so. Then I did the same thing to the other one, and now I'm going to use a matte top coat um, for the chest pieces. And gel can really make um, stamping polish smear, but I only did it with the black one. You can barely see it but it was noticeable to me and it bothered me um but yeah we're gonna matte top coat those ones then i'm going to use a glossy top coat on the chessboard after top coating you can clean up all of the excess nail polish around your nail you still want to be careful because if you touch where the stamp design is on your nail, it still can smear from the acetone. I don't know why, that's just what it does, so you want to be careful. And now we're going to apply some cuticle oil. And here are the finished nails. I actually like these a lot better than my other one. This is a design that I kind of made up myself. I didn't like look at inspiration. If you can see those little lines on the stamping part, that's just from my stamper. There is some rips. I need to put another um, gummy thing in there. But here is my old design versus my new design. I low-key like my new design better even though I did mix up the pointer and pinky colors. But I still really like it. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.